Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your Chromebook. Now whether whether you have a new Chromebook and you want to optimize it to get the best performance out of it, or you have an old Chromebook and it's becoming slow and unresponsive, and you want to fix that, and you want to make it fast, and you want to make it new, whatever you're up to, this video is for you. Alright, so we're going to start off with the basic simple tips, and then we're going to move on to the tips that can change your Chromebook forever. Alright, so first is to check updates. Alright, it's as simple as that. Alright, you want to go into your settings about Chrome OS and check for updates. Alright, it says your Chromebook's up to date. Uh, Google is always releasing new updates to try to make your Chromebook faster. So with these updates, you're helping your Chromebook run faster. Alright, next is to check our storage. So again, head into settings and search for storage. Alright, storage management. Here, you should get this chart graph of how much gigs of space you have available. Alright, now I currently have a Linux storage system running, which is why I have 5 gigs. I recommend around 10 to anyone to keep your Chromebook running snappy. Alright, and it's going to tell you where all that data goes. 2.9 is in browsing data, so if you just click on it real quick. D uh, here, just select all of it to delete all of that data, and just delete data. Alright, I'm not going to do that for now. Um, apps, apps, this part's kind of weird. If I do click it, I only find this many. And they most, I'm guessing Chrome and the Play Store take up most of it. Since it doesn't let you see how much it takes up. But, yeah. So, make sure this is this has a good amount of storage in it. If you have like 2 gigs of storage left and you've tried every possible solution, nothing seems to be working. You could just go down into um, about Chrome OS and then Power Wash. Let's see here, or search up here Power Wash. Power Wash, or uh, my bad, it's in system preferences all right so power wash all right so here you can just reset everything keep in mind that chrome os does like sync basically everything all every all your chrome tabs history all that stuff is synced the only thing that will really go away is your precious background and your apps all right so if you're okay with that and you have no other choice i would recommend a power wash Next is to enable swap memory. Alright, so basically, in a lot of things, when you're lagging, it's because your random access memory or your RAM is running low. Alright, and the processes that need it are unable to find it. So, by enabling swap memory, you're taking basically the memory that you already have, alright, and then you're moving that into RAM so that your Chromebook's faster. All right, so you about, you want to hit Control Alt T, cross here. What you want to do here is you want to type in swap um, status first to check your swap status. Here, if we go up here, my dev DRAM zero, I have around two thousand, or yeah around two gigs of storage here all right and i've used around one gig so you just want to check if it's already enabled if not swap enable and then 2000 is two gigs 1000 would be one gig all right you get the idea so set it so what you think is best for your computer I recommend two gigs, all right, because as you see, the one gig fills up pretty quickly. I currently have it set to two gigs, so yeah, just type that in, and, re and you're all good to go. Now, we're going to enable some Chrome flags, all right, so you want to open up Google Chrome here, and you want to type in Chrome 
colon slash slash flags. All right, you're going to open up this window. You can close the other tab now. All right, now there's a bunch of things that I'll tell you exactly what each flag does, so don't worry about it. But there's a bunch of flags that you can enable to make your Chromebook faster. All right, first is GPU restoration. All right, this basically uses your GPU instead of your CPU to load websites so your CPU can handle other tasks. I have this enabled, just click it and click enable. It's pretty easy. All right, next we have parallel, I think I spelled that wrong, parallel downloading. All right, basically what this does is you, when you download a file, it's gonna split up into smaller files so it can download faster, all right? At the end of the day, you're gonna have the same file, so don't worry about that. It just increases download speed, all right? So, yeah. Now, back forward cache. But if you do search it, uh, what it does is it reduces the cache from each website, sort of helping your um, CPU run other tasks, as I said before. Now you have QIC protocol. All right, so this protocol um, is a newer protocol that speeds up website loading. All right, so I have this enabled. Next, we have override, oh, there it is, override rendering list. What this does is, a, basically, if your GPU isn't qualified to do some things, although it probably can do it, um, by default, your computer doesn't allow it to do that. This basically overrides that, and it's like, yeah, all right, your GPU could do it. All right, again, speeding up your Chromebook in that matter. Next is a simple one, smooth scrolling. That doesn't really make your Chromebook faster. It just makes your Chromebook uh, scrolling feel better. Like if you see here, I have it enabled. Look at that scroll, bro. Look at that. So it just makes the scroll feel better. All right. Next we have JavaScript timers. I think it's this one. So, uh, JavaScript WebAssembly. All right. This uses JavaScript's newer WebAssembly version. So if you're playing any games in your browser, uh, it'll give you twice the FPS and that basically the same thing. All right. So you might want to enable that if you're into those things. Now we have lazy image loading lazy image loading here basically it stops when you're on a website and you scroll down and there's a bunch of images and you usually don't look at the images and you don't really care about the images you just want to look at the information that's on the site this will basically um, stop those inf uh, or make it slower for those images to load so it could load the actual article or whatever else you're looking at uh, I'm not going to enable that. I'm going to leave it. Then we have lazy frame loading. I don't think I have this. Yeah, no, I don't have this. So again, lazy frame loading, same thing. It's more for videos. And in this video, if you've seen anything that I have, but it's not available on your screen, it just means that your computer isn't compatible with that. And it's all right, because that's why I have so many. You can enable the ones that you are compatible with, and you'd be good to go. All right. So after that, we have the Vulkan backend. So this is a graphics backend. I'm gonna actually go ahead and enable this. So for your GPU, this is sort of a driver to sort of help your GPU run faster and better. All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and enable this. At the bottom, you do see the message, your changes will take effect next time you restart your device. Just do it at the end of this video. All right, so you don't have to restart so many times. After that, we have zero copy rasterizer right here 
so it writes threads directly to GPU memory instead of using CPU memory and yeah I have this enabled again something that'll speed up your computer well now all of these there's no there's not like one flag that'll change your computer you got to sort of enable a bunch of these flags so you get that extended sort of speed on your Chromebook site isolation um, isolation this is set to um, default not to disabled because a site isolation will isolate every site I guess this is because I'm on a newer version but it'll isolate each site so that the sites don't communicate with each other like when hackers are trying to do stuff and it, a side effect is also that since they don't communicate there's less stress on your CPU alright um, alright so faster tab closing is not available on mine but it just enables you to close your tabs faster and it pauses your tabs for you alright so it pauses them and freezes them so that it doesn't take up memory even that like one tab that you never use alright and then scheduler configuration alright so this is hyper threading hyper threading will instruct your CPU to sort of run hyperly alright so it's kind of like overclocking, although it isn't. All right, it's kind of overclocking for your Chromebook, although it doesn't do much because it's a Chromebook. But yeah, this is one of the things that'll show you a significant change. All right, and yep, I'm gonna restart my Chromebook real quick, and we'll be back. All right, so we are back yet again. Um, with all those flags enabled, I'm feeling pretty good. There. Um, let's see how many tabs I can open without lagging. I have a bunch of bookmarks here. I'm going to go ahead and open all. Alright. Chromebook's handling it pretty well, actually. As you can see, my mouse isn't stuttering out. My frames are a little laggy. Honestly, there's no possible way my Chromebook would have been able to do this before. I tried it, I just didn't have it on camera. Well, yeah, and all these websites, some of these are really dang useful, which is why you should see my video on most useful websites. Alright, should be released soon. Alright, guys, so I'm just going to show you guys a few more tips to see how much your Chromebook has improved. Alright, so the first one would be checking your diagnostics, like your CPU and stuff. I have it pinned right here, but for the people who don't, what you want to do is turn off your internet. Or just turn it off like this. Alright, and then you want to try to load up any site. And you're going to get this sort of message, no internet. And it's going to have a blue link saying run connectivity diagnostics. You click that and then you're instantly in the diagnostics app. All right. So after you're on the screen, you just want to head over to system. All right. And then here you'll see a CPU section. All right. Here you'll see your CPU, um, your name, CPU name. And then here you're going to see some stats. This is the current usage, like the total usage <coughs> of your CPU. I'm using about 25 to 33 percent and then you're going to see the temperature I have around 42 ish temperature in my CPU and then the current speed is bouncing up and down here but let's say it's around 1.5 gigahertz pretty average for a Chromebook all right and after that after you've checked that out you just want to turn your internet back on and I'm going to show you guys how to do an FPS test. Alright. So, you just want to search up FPS test. Alright. And click any of the links. Alright. And then once you're here and you see these three sort of 
moving pictures. You want to go ahead and inspect. And then you want to click the three dots. You want to go into more tools. And then near the bottom after recorder, we have rendering. Just click that once. And then here, the fourth option should be frame rendering stats. Just click that. Alright, and then we get this uh, frame rate sort of place. Here we can see our current CP uh, FPS is around 60, which is pretty good. And only 4.5 MB has been used of our total GPU memory. That's also pretty cool. So yeah, we're jumping around 59 to 60 FPS. So just a quick way to test your FPS. Alright, 60 FPS would be the top bar here. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and supporting the channel. Hope your Chrome looks faster now. Um, I've realized that a bunch of you guys watching are not subscribed, so just click that one subscribe button, please, and it'll like really help out my channel. All right, and after that, best of luck, and see you all next time.